the first thing you need to do is get your DVR and connect it to a router or a network hub which I will show you as an example with a CAT5 cable. This is my DVR. This is my router. You would just simply get a CAT5 cable with the CAT5 connectors or the regular network cables. You connect one on the DVR and the other one into your router on whichever port. Let's say port 1. And that's it. This is the first step for remote viewing. On your computer, the first thing you need to do is go to the start menu. You're going to find the run command. For example, this is Windows 7 and Windows Vista is similar. On Windows XP, the run should be around this area. So let's type the run. On the run command, you're going to type CMD and you press enter. This window will appear. Inside this window, the first thing you need to do is check what is your network range. So the command you use is ipconfig. And you press enter. In Windows 7 and Windows Vista, it gives you an extended results. For example, your wireless and all the other network adapters. In Windows XP, you would just only see the results like this. If you have Windows XP, make sure you, you see this is your IP address, this is your subnet mask, and this is your default gateway. Your default gateway is the IP address of your router. For example, you already know that this is your IP address, 192.168.1.127. So let's, let's try to ping a different IP address. For example, you're going to use ping and let's ping for example 122 as you can see it says destination host unreachable that means no device on the network is using this IP address so you can use this IP address on your DVR let's type a different example let's say um, one twenty five if you see these results reply that means someone else is using this IP address so you don't want to use an IP address that's already been in use so now you need to copy this IP address 192.168.1.122 make sure you also copy the same subnet mask and the same default gateway because these settings are the one that you're going to put on your DVR. Now, on your DVR, you're going to access the menu depending which DVR you have. For example, the DVR I'm using as an example is the 2408P. It's on our website as well. So I will go into the menu. I will look for the network, which is right here. Network. And then inside, you're going to see the HTTP port or the web port and the server port. For example, I put server port 2000 and the HTTP port, I changed it to 8080 instead of 80. Default is 80 in most of the systems. Now, make sure you don't have DHCP because DHCP will get an IP address automatically. So. I already put the settings of my network, which is the same subnet mask, the same gateway or default gateway as my computer, and the IP address with ping that it was not pinging. And now, because I put it here, now it's going to get a reply because this device is using this IP address now. Once you do that, you click OK and you exit. Now that you already set up the IP address in your DVR, 
it's time for us to open a port in your router. So let's go into your Internet Explorer or whichever browser you're using. And you're going to type the IP address of your default gateway, the one that you saw on the previous result. Because this is the IP address of your router. So you log in. For example, I have a sonic wall. You may have a different router. In that case, you need to find out where are the settings for the port forward or the access rule. For a sonic wall, this is an example. I have to add a service. So I don't need none of these services. I have to create a custom service. So let's call it DVR. The port that I need is 8080 because that's the port that we put on the DVR. So I add it in TCP. Now I do the same thing again but this time I add it in UDP because you need both protocols TCP and UDP. Now I'm going to create another rule with the port 2000 because this is the data port, the one that lets you transmit all the videos through the internet. Also, I'm going to put it in TCP. Let's do it again for UDP. I add. And now I have my services right here, port 8080 and port 2000. So now let's create a rule. In some other routers, it should call port forward or application and gaming, for example, in Linksys. So we go into rules and we need to add a new rule. So the action, for example, on the Sonic Wall, I'm going to put allow. What is the service type? So the service is called DVR, what I just named it. The source, I'm going to put any source. The destination should be LAN. Because you're coming from WAN, wide area network, to LAN, local area network. The IP address will be the IP address of the DVR. Apply this rule always. And you just update. Now that you have already applied the rule, you will see it here. So let's test if what you did is correct. You go to a website, for example, can you see me dot org. This is a very good website for checking ports. As you can see, this is your external IP address. Let's test if the port is open. Let's put 8080. You click check. The results will be here. Success. You have to see success in order for you to see your DVR remotely. Let's test the other port, 2000. Success as well. So now you have to type your external IP address to check if you can see your cameras. You open Internet Explorer. You put the IP address, and because you're not using port 80, you have to put colon 8080. This will appear, the ActiveX controls. I have another video showing you how to disable this pop-up. So you just put run add-on, and run. And the software will appear. So you just log in. And voila, you already see your DVR system remotely.